Hello and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Mario Kart 64. Last time we did the Star Cup on Extra Difficulty, now we will be playing as Yoshi for the Special Cup on Extra Difficulty, which is not the hardest thing ever, because Flower Cup is. Even though I happen to get gold on Flower Cup and silver on Star Cup. I'm still... my jimmies are still rustled about that. I, I dislike it a lot. Anyway, since I am playing with my star character Yoshi now, I should be able to do a little better. Hopefully. It's sad that I'm faster than him even after hitting Luigi in the butthole. Um, change the view, first off. That's the first time I've done that that fast. Or changed the view that early in the video. Good thing. Need to have new habits. And... Okay, so this is a rant I've been wanting to go on for a while. It's not really a rant more than me, more like me complaining about a person. So, there's this kid. He's about three or four years younger than me. Um, he is probably the most stubborn person I've ever met. Um, not to be rude or anything, but he's stubborn as fuck. And he's just been annoying me a lot lately and what he does is he keeps challenging me to Nintendo games that I, I know that he can't win but I don't think he realizes yet that he's not better than me at video games is what I'm trying to get at I mean maybe Xbox because I don't play Xbox and but I'm better at every single Nintendo game he's challenged me to yet so far and that would include Mario Party 1, Mario Party 2, Mario Kart, um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, uh, what else is there, um, Mario Tennis, let's see, I gotta think about Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart Wii, Mario Tennis Open, uh, Mario and Sonic at the London Olympic Games, uh, what else is there? I think that might be it, but he, he, oh wait, no, 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 yeah, Pokemon Pearl and Pokemon Heart Gold, and by the way, uh, when he challenged me to uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we both have it on our 3DS, so we raced each other like that, I beat the game before he even got to the second dungeon, like, I was done, I just beat Ganon before he got to Goron City, like, he had, he was, our, he, I think he was at the castle section, which is pitiful, um, in Pearl version, uh, he gave up after I got my sixth badge, and Peach just wasted all of my shells. He gave up after I had all six ba- or I had six badges, and he only had two. And right now, he's challenged me to heart gold most recently. I am at three badges, he is currently at one. Which is completely sad. Although the fact that I choose Cyndaquil gives me a massive advantage, because Cyndaquil- Honestly, I think the Johto starters are the most unbalanced of any starter tri trio ever. Because Cyndaquil's com er, um, uh, Chikorita is completely useless in all ways. It's basically a wall. That's what it is. Totodile is impractical for a race because at the very beginning of the game, you have to go through Bellsprout Tower, and that's not fun if you don't have, like, maybe a Pidgey or something. And I really wouldn't want to take the time to catch a Pidgey and train it up to where it learns Gust on level 9. And even then, I'll still have problems taking down Bellsprout, which is sad. So Cyndaquil is quite obviously the best choice. Also, the fact that uh, Chikorita is weak to the first gym type is pretty sad. So yeah, I think Johto has a very, very good bias going towards Cyndaquil there. Um, but yeah, he just really gets on my nerves a lot. I mean, I don't know, I'm not sure what it is, but he just, he just, he's annoying. So I think I've picked out the fastest route, um, on this track to be, uh, this route here with the porcupines. And the fact that I spun out twice pretty much put me in, like, fifth place. And, not to mention some person that's probably in, like, second or first just got a lightning bolt. You know, whoa, 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 how is he big? Did, did Wario use it? Dear God, that's annoying. Huh. I notice the more I play this game, like, consecutively, uh, the more I hate it. Not hate it, but the more I dislike some of the parts of it. 
such as the, you know, the item. Quite obviously, what I've been expressing the most is the item. Um, the bad rubber band for that. Because, uh, recently I haven't been in first very much. If you haven't noticed. Oh, crap, that's horrible. Oh, God, this, oh, God, this is horrible. Dear God, I think I'm in last. Oh, my God. That's another thing I dislike. If you so much as love tap the sides, or any fence in particular, then you pretty much hug it for the next five seconds, and it's annoying. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm in fifth right now. Oh, great. Great. Freaking great. Now I'm in seventh. Because somehow someone's like way the hell back there. Great. I managed to beat DK Parkway Jungle without any problems whatsoever, though. Which figures, I think that's actually my best course as far as Mario 64 is concerned. I'm going to try this way now. So I'm getting, getting tired of them porcupines. I guess if you can do the skinny part pretty easily, then maybe it shouldn't be a problem uh, for you to just go that way instead of the porcupine way. I still think that there might be... Really? I can't use my mushroom while I'm small. God, this is... Uh... And of course, it's someone that's way so far back that it doesn't matter even if they do get items like that. But that actually could have helped me a lot. Oh, am I in third right now? Holy crap. Bowser, no, 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 no. You're not beating me. No, no, crap. This sucks. Huh. I'm just getting way too pissed off right now. Too pissed off for my own good. I think it's just all the relatively bad news I've been getting lately. Because now I know, now I know that I'm only going to get one month for vacation because the school I'm at right now, it doesn't let up until, what is it, May right now? January, February, March, April, May, June. It doesn't let out until the end of June. So that's basically half the summer there. Not to mention the fact that um, I'm going to boarding school next year, and um, I actually have to go early for like a new student orientation. So I have to be there by the beginning of August. Like August 11th, I'm pretty sure. When normally all the other students only have to be there by August 29th. So, yeah, I basically get the shortest summer of anyone in the whole entire world, and they just took every single one of those boxes. That was ridiculous. I don't think I've seen that before. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, it really sucks, and I'm not happy in the slightest about it. But, I guess what that, that's what I get for wanting to go to a good school. Uh, here we go. This could actually be very bad for me, but I don't care. We're going Turbo! Wreck-It Ralph. I gave that glitch a race card, because glitches love race cars. Yippee on your own time, Mario. It's Yoshi time. Yoshi. Uh, Bowser, I would be much more than happy if you just slip on my banana that I have on my butt. Nope! No! Oh my god, they both had bananas! That's ridiculous! And they didn't even try to get each other with it. That pisses me off. Just like everything else in the world. Exactly. I've also been trying to speedrun Super Mario World. And that can prove to be very difficult. I mean, like, speedrun as fast as you can. Like, not 100% in any term of the word. Form of the word. Uh, but... That proves to be very difficult when you crap. When... I, I think the orb glitch is pretty much 50-50 for whether I get it or not now. Um, but, uh, Yoshi's Island 3... Like, the level, not the game that's coming out. For 3DS, which, by the way, I cannot wait for. Oh, oh crap. Uh, but Yoshi's Island 3, that level is really hard to get your momentum up at the beginning and keep it through the whole level, so usually I end up losing it, maybe at like the halfway point. That is, assuming I don't die at the very beginning of the level from not jumping on the blocks correctly. But yeah, I think my most solid part of that run is um, the small part that takes part in Donut Plains, the few levels that are there. Including both of the boo houses. I also have a huge trouble with maintaining 
with maintaining my cape throughout the whole Star World. Because I, I need it for Star World 4 to get to Valor's Castle. Uh, I'm not going to get first place in this in this cup either, am I? Because that's the second time I've gotten third place. Oh yeah, Bowser's way... Well, if I get first place and Bowser gets second, then that counts as a win for me. So I just need to win Rainbow Road, and then I got it. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I need a cape for Star World 4, so I can get to the hidden area without use of all three of the... Without three of the switch blocks. Or two of them, rather. You need green and pink, I think. Not four of them. There's four of them in the game. You think you only need green and pink to get that shortcut legitly. You can also use Yoshi, but if you use Yoshi, then you have nothing to hit the key out of the box. So you need to, like, I don't know, like, have ca Yoshi carry a shell in his mouth and then spit it out and then jump off of Yoshi, and it would just be much more hassle in its work. So you basically have to go through the game without getting hit once, because once you do the orb glitch in Yoshi's Island 1, then you have to, oh fuck, you have to keep the orb in your inventory slot for pretty much all of Yoshi's Island until you get to the castle. Uh, if you get hit, then it'll automatically release the orb and you'd be better off collecting the orb at that level. But it's preferably used in Castle 1. Because that's the longest level that's in the... You know, I wonder what would happen if you collected an orb in Bowser's castle. Would that work? Because if that's the case, then I... What the hell? That did... That, that, that banana went nowhere. I was expecting it to actually go somewhere. Oh, here we go. Oh, thank you. I needed these. Once we get on a straightaway, I'll own Peach in the face. Oh, God. How far did Peach get in front of me? Huh. Oh, like I said, drift. Drift for days. Bowser, can you like... Okay, I'm gonna have to own both of you with my red shells. There we go. Oh my god, I don't... See, this is what I don't understand. Peach is so far in front, even though I'm having a perfect run. It's ridiculous. I... This is why... This is one of the only reasons I dislike this game. Is because the CPUs do unmeasurably well in situations they shouldn't be doing well in. And I think she just ran into something. Peach face, Luigi face. Those look a little bigger in this mode. Or am I just crazy? Oh god. Also, you can't drift too long with holding the opposite direction of what direction you're drifting. Cause you'll spin out. It'd be nice if that actually hit Peach for once. I'm catching up to her at the very least. It'd be nice if I could get an item that's actually useful that doesn't involve me being able to hit her or having to be close to her to hit to use it. Honestly it sucks. I think I think this is actually one of my like this is the seventh red shell I've gotten in a row. Oh my god, this is stupid. This is the, the, honestly, I'm sorry I'm pissed off in this episode, but this is this is a bit much. I swear if I get red shells. Well, that's not any more useful. Whoa! Well, that was unexpected. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, well. As long as I beat Bowser, I actually win, so I don't care that much. I mean, Peach can win for all I care. Can she? I think she... Wait, no, she's at 16 points, isn't she? And I'm at 15. I think. That's not good. I hope she's not the one that's, that's at 16 points, because I think that actually might be Luigi. Oh dear god, she she just finished! Oh, I know she didn't, that's the second lap. God, I'm crazy. Ah, this, 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 this thing is too long, I didn't even think that we were... I thought we were almost done with it. Whoa, what? Bowser? How did you just, how did you just do that? He just sped past me at like twice my speed. And Peach is still in front, even though she's gotten hit by numerous things, as we've been able to see from the line. I don't get this. I, I'm just unable to understand. Look at how much faster she's going than us. She's still, like, gaining 
room on us while I'm speaking. And she's been getting hit by like every single obstacle that comes her way. I don't get it. She's, she's still getting hit by crap. Wow, they both just got owned by that. Did, did Mario just say Mamma Mia and oh well, 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 and Bowser said nothing? Or did something glitch out and Bowser actually had Mario's voice? Hmm. The world may never know. The world doesn't care. She's still too far ahead to hit with red shells. I appreciate the mushrooms because they're actually useful. Okay, she got knocked out by this chain chomp. I should be able to get her. Oh yes, this will be able to catch up with her. Real nice. Thank you, Mario Kart gods. They have given me... They've given me the power to own this area. And she's already big again. And gaining room. Okay, I almost came out of that wrong. Look, look, she's, she's, she's so much faster. I don't understand this. I'm pretty sure I'm going the same speed as her right now with these mushrooms. Why is she going so fast? Look at her. She just, oh my god. That's ridiculous, honestly. I don't get that. I, I really, did she just slow down right after she passed the go? Uh, I guess not. Anyway, did I just lose that? Yes, I did. God damn it. Bowser didn't win. Well. Hmm. That kind of sucks, honestly. I was expecting to get gold trophies through the whole thing. Oh well. It doesn't affect me that much. But, I don't know. I'm just a little more hurt. The fact that I just lost Peach. A person who shouldn't be used to racing because they're so used to cooking. <sighs> and with my best character. Well, not my best character, but my preferred character at that. I mean, you can understand if I lost as Wario, but come on. Come on. Wait, did I lose as Wario? No, that wasn't Wario. I was, I was playing as Peach then. What the heck? This is backwards game. I think Bowser actually won last time. I don't know, that was a while ago. Anyway, as much as it hurts my soul to say this, we just got second place. But I don't care. I think in Josh Jepsen's Let's Play of this, he actually got fourth a couple of times, which <laughs> is actually one of the rarest things that you can do in the game, is get fourth. Because you actually have to get exactly fourth in every single race to achieve that. Hmm. Oh yeah, we have to go through the credits of this now, because that's the end. I forgot. So, this Let's Play. What about, I don't know. This Let's Play honestly just felt like another generic Let's Play that I, I, I just decided to do randomly. I was really decided, I, I was really excited to do it at the beginning. But, you know, after I did the 150cc once, it kind of got boring for me after we hit the extra mode, as as was probably evident from my crappy commentary of being pissed off all the time. I hope that didn't ruin anything, honestly. Programmers Masato Kimura, Kenji Yamamoto, uh, and so, anyway, I'm pretty much sick of this game for as much as that's worth. Just because that one kid that I was talking about earlier, he just challenged me to it so many times that... Uh, I think we've played this game, like, at least five different sessions. And I beat him all but one time, where it was 9 to 8. Because he wanted to keep going until he was in front of me, and he just happened to get that once we got to 8, or once we got to, uh, 17 races. And then I promptly owned him at battle. Uh, 5 to 0. Ah, that you shake. Only got hit by once. Oh, those are. Are those hollow on the inside? Those are supposed to be like volcanoes? Huh. I don't know. I honestly like them to see them remake, like, Yoshi's Valley. Oh my god, that's awesome. I didn't know it connected like that. The course. It's pretty cool. 
Anyway, music composer Kenta Nagata. Props to you, because I think this game actually has one of my favorite soundtracks out of all the Nintendo 64 games. That totally looks like a Koopa. In the remake on Mario Kart 7, they actually like they made it exactly to look like a Koopa. Like the rocks chiseled out all the features. Anyway, how long was it? Was this? 20 minutes? 20 drop frames, I don't care. Honestly. Oh god, what is that? Just zoom in on the arrow. This is cool. That, that star. That star is 3D. It's the only 3D that's, thing that's out there on that level. Honestly. Everything else is just a 2D sprite. Donkey Kong 3D model provided by... Oh, they probably had to put that because I think Donkey Kong... No, Donkey Kong belongs to Nintendo. Duh. God. I was like, Donkey Kong belongs to Rare. No, it doesn't! Because if Donkey Kong belonged to Rare, then Donkey Kong would be a da dead franchise right now. Anyway, that is the end. I'm going to end it off on this on this screen instead of the title screen for once. So, it's ended Let's Play. Goodbye. See you in the next thing that I do. Probably in the next Plants vs. Zombies video, honestly. So, see you then. Goodbye.